In this video, we are introducing the ePower Stage family of integrated circuits. Beyond just performance and cost improvement, the most significant opportunity for GAN technology to impact the power conversion market comes from its intrinsic ability to integrate multiple devices on the same substrate. GAN technology, as opposed to standard silicon IC technology, allows designers to implement monolithic power systems on a single chip in a more straightforward and cost-effective way. We are introducing the ePower Stage IC family, redefining power conversion by integrating all functions on a single GAN on silicon integrated circuit at higher voltages and higher frequency levels beyond the reach of silicon. ePower is EPC's trademark for a growing family of integrated power stage products that combine the control functions with the power output devices. We call them ePower stages. EGAN FETs are lateral devices built on a GAN epitaxial layer with an isolation layer between the active device regions and the supporting silicon substrate. These EGAN FETs use multiple layers, same as those used in integrated circuit interconnects, making integration easy. This is how GAN integration works. If you start with the standard lateral power EGAN device, you can add to it a second power device, shown here in this animation. These devices don't necessarily communicate with each other unless they're electrically connected with metal layers. By putting a high side and a low side transistor together on the si same substrate, you now can create an integrated half bridge. EPC introduced its first integrated half bridges in 2014. The voltage of a GAN device is determined by the distance between the gate and the drain uh, terminals. By shrinking that distance, you can create lower voltage devices on the same substrate as a higher voltage device. So if you create very, very small devices with very tight spacing between gate and drain, you can have logic or analog level devices on the same substrate as your high voltage power devices. In 2018, EPC introduced devices that had drivers integrated onto the same substrate as a power FET. Then by adding analog and digital functions on the high side and a high voltage low power transistor to level shift between the low and high side, we created the ability to make a fully monolithic power stage on one chip. The ePower stage is designed as a functional block from logic in to power out. It interfaces directly with pulse width modulated logic signal either from a digital or analog controller to turn the PWM commands into output power pulses capable of high voltage and high current. Integration makes design easier replacing complex designs and multiple components with an integrated solution. Less design time and a simplified layout. Integration also significantly simplifies manufacturing since the chip scale packaged EPC 2152 replaces at least three discrete chips, a gate driver and two FETs, not counting the synchronous bootstrap places it with one chip scale package device. This equates to less chips, less bumps, less to assemble. The EPC 2152 saves at least 33% in space as compared to comparable discrete design using a discrete gate driver and GAN FETs, both in chip scale form factors. Compared to silicon MOSFET design, using SMD packages, even more space is saved.
The e-power stage eliminates common source inductance, CSI, between the high side and low side FETs and the gate drive loop inductance. The result is super fast switching, less than one nanosecond. Users have the flexibility to adjust switching time with one resistor by optimizing between overvoltage spike, rise time, and power efficiency. One can achieve very fast switching time that reduces switching losses, yet clean waveforms will reduce overvoltage spikes and lower EMI. We built a buck converter with an input voltage of 48 volts, an output voltage of 12 volts, and an output current of 12 and a half amps to demonstrate the efficiency of the E power stage over PWM frequency range from 1 to 3 megahertz. The peak efficiency is above 96%, with power loss just above 6 watts at 1 megahertz. The same converter operates at 3 megahertz, with peak efficiency hitting close to 94% at 12 and a half amperes. However, the power loss at 3 megahertz requires a cooling solution to get lower thermal impedance. This is better than discrete uh, EGAN FETs using the same on resistant devices and significantly better than discrete silicon based MOSFETs or IC solutions. The EPC2152 is packaged using a wafer level chip scale package in an LGA or land grid array outline. The layout of the solder bumps is designed with current flow direction in mind to minimize power loop inductance in practical PC board applications. The first product in the series, the EPC2152, can operate from 80 volts maximum with rated output current of 12 and amperes at operating PWM frequency exceeding 2 megahertz. The output devices are configured as a half bridge with RDS on less than 10 milliohms for both high side and low side FETs. The integrated half bridge minimizes common source inductance and the integrated gate drive circuit is designed to match with the output FETs minimizing gate drive inductance. This enables one nanosecond switching times and operation up to three megahertz PWM. Another unique design feature is the internal synchronous bootstrap charging circuit that always maintains low dropout in the charging path and has no QRR to allow for high frequency operation. The internal level shifter is designed to be robust in all types of switching node transition events, above rail transients, below ground transients, and high DVDT. The gate drive level is regulated by feedback in relationship to the driven output FETs. Thus, the output FETs are driven to its lowest RDS on state and yet always stay below the maximum allowed gate drive voltage for these output FETs. Additional protection is provided by separate high side and low side under voltage lockout or UVLO circuits with lockout levels referenced to the same gate drive feedback parameter to avoid operating the output FETs in a high RDS on state. The inputs of the EPC2152 are compatible with 3.3 volt logic, allowing users to interface directly with an MCU or with analog controllers. Additional features include 20 nanosecond minimum input pulse widths and 20 nanosecond delay time input to output. The EPC2152 is mainly targeted to be used for DC to DC converters requiring high efficiency and small size. These are critical benefits for telecom, server and client computing, industrial, automotive and military markets. Also targeted are space and other radiation environments due to the unique properties of GAN IC construction. Different converter topologies can be built using the EPC2152 half bridge configurations. Customers are designing in these devices for buck and boost converters as well as LLC converters. 
Some customers are even trying the device in switch cap topologies. Another promising application is motor drive inverters for robotics, drones, and e-scooters. These motor drive applications require lighter weight, higher bandwidth, and lower torque ripple, which are the advantages for inverters built with the e-power stage. The EPC 90120 development board is a good demonstration of what the EPC 2152 can do in an actual application circuit. In addition to learning about switching performance of the device, the PC board design also provides a reference layout to achieve the maximum performance of the device. The EPC 90120 has a power loop inductance of less than 0.2 nanohenries. The chip scale package is ideal for double-sided cooling. Using a simple thermal design, the load current rating can increase by greater than 60%. The output capabilities are only limited by die size and thermal considerations. For applications requiring even higher current, EPC will utilize multi-chip packaging capabilities to integrate ePower Stage into a single quad flat module, QFM, in an upcoming product offering. Within a year, the ePower Stage family will be filled out with products capable of operating at high frequency up to 3 to 5 megahertz range, as well as high current from 15 amperes to 30 amperes per power stage. For more detailed information on EGAN, FET, and IC products and, ev and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.